Hey, it's Cat Yaks. Um, I'm converting my little Hyundai Santa Fe into something I can sleep in during hunting season and to go on camping trips and stuff. I pulled the seats out yesterday because I was cleaning the car and found a bunch of moisture and mold so I ripped up the carpet and pulled the seats out. And now I'm making a little platform for sleeping through right here. It's 29 inches wide and it's going to be 6 feet long but I'm making it into two parts. So here's the first part. There's six legs on there. I didn't have a plan so I've had to start over once but now I got it working. The second part's going into this space. Um, when I push this seat as forward as it'll go I get about 6 feet of room in here. I'm 5'11", so it's going to be snug, but it'll work for what I need it for. I'm almost done with this part. I just have to put this leg here on. So it is level. And then so that's really all I need. So this is what the back looks like. It looks kind of crazy because all the legs are different lengths and nothing's really measured out to anything particular. I just kind of threw it together how I thought it would work. I might add a support leg back here somewhere, but I don't think I'm going to need it. So I'm going to see if it works fine without it. This piece is about four feet long, so this one's going to be about two feet long. Next, I'm taking a piece of gutter shield. And then I'm going to cut it to size for my window. So I can roll up my window and still have ventilation. I will glue or attach a bug screen to the back of it. So all I did was cut it to size with a tin snip and as you can see it fits the top of the window and you can push it in and then right here if you can see there's like a little a groove so when I roll up my window the window will slide right in there so I can have my window somewhat closed still and get this ventilation and then I will have a screen over the sunroof so I can get ventilation through there too because it is hot out and I'm going on a trip in a week. Alright so now I'm gonna try to finish doing the bed part. I'm going to attach here and then I just have to put legs underneath. Which is what I, the legs are what I'm working on now, and then the bed will be finished. So here's the platform finished. It is 6 feet 4 inches by 29 inches, and I am 5'11". So it gives me a little bit of extra leg room so I can lay down in it fine. So my sister brought me some foam mats that she had laying around her house that an old roommate left. So I turned those into a mat for my bed. Here's a thicker piece. It's 24 inches by 6 feet, which is the length. That's the length of a foam pad, a 3 inch memory foam pad I bought for my bed. Here's the a thin piece which is only a third of an inch thick just to lay over the top of my board here. So now I'm cutting out foam that fits these windows. A dot of velcro on the window and on the mat and then it'll fit. It fits in here. So now 
you can't see through the windows. For the two big windows, so I don't have to cut out like two little pieces of foam, I'm just going to use a trash bag and then these little niodium magnets from Harbor Freight. They were $2 for 10 of them. So I just taped up a screen. This way I can keep my sunroof open, but keep the bugs out. I just used tape because I don't really have another better way to do it right now. It only has to last like a night for now. We'll figure out something else later. I just realized one flaw, which I just noticed right now, and that would be that I can't close my shade. But I guess if I want to, I can just peel the tape off and shut it. Here's what I have for a bed for on top of the platform that I made. This is a 3 inch foam from Home Depot. It was labeled as a camping mat. It is 6 feet by 2 feet and then 3 inches wide and then underneath I have a 1 inch thick like rubberized foam mat that I got from my sister. There's what I got for my mattress. Uh, just for security in my little car camper, I do have a small portable plug-in security system. Just plugs in just like that and then it's set and ready to go. My car V is all finished and ready to go. I'm going on my first trip tomorrow. Um, I am putting this video up the same day that I finished everything. So there's my bed and it started to pack. Basically I can put my storage under here, here, and in the front passenger seat. Uh, I'm I'm going on a trip to pick up about 15 pieces of cast iron, so that's going to have to go here. Um, I'll probably record some of my trip. I'm staying at a state park, car camping, going fishing, and then I might be staying in a Walmart parking lot.